<laughs> the Lady in Black For many years now, I've heard rumors to the fact that a lady in a black dress appears at the crossings of Highway 141 and 281 between Fremont and Ben Bolt. I know it's easy to disregard the whole thing with a shrug and say, just another ghost story. But what are you going to do when groups of people come to you and describe the lady they have actually seen? Among these witnesses, there are four men who recently were going to work at the Exxon refinery. It was the middle of the night. All of a sudden, there was a lady right in front of the car. They couldn't possibly avoid hitting her. There was no thud, no bump, but the passengers of the car were sure the lady had been killed. They got out, looked around, but found nothing. They called the sheriff. With their headlights and spotlights, they searched all around and looked for the body. The lady in black was nowhere to be found. Intrigued by the statements of actual witnesses, I started to look for the identity of the Phantom in Black. Who could she be? Why was she appearing in that area? I went around the neighboring ranches, talked to the old folks, and asked about the apparition. I may have found the answer, thanks to a nice old man who lives in the back of Gonzolitos. His eyes sparkled when I asked him about the lady in black. Sure, I know who she is, he said with viction. Her name is Donia Leonora Rodriguez de Ramos. I will repeat the story exactly the way he told it to me. This goes back to the days when the Rio Grande Valley was still the old Spanish province of Nuevo Santander. A rich landowner, Raro Ramos, married one of the prettiest girls in Mexico, Leonora Rodriguez. The marriage celebrations were still going on when Don Raul received a letter asking him to go back to Spain immediately in order to take care of virgin business. Unwilling to expose his young wife to the perils of a long sea voyage, he left his new bride at the ranch. He was gone for six months. He was very happy upon his return that his wife was six months pregnant. His joy was short-lived though because a jealous neighbor came to tell him Donia Leonora had been unfaithful and that the child she was carrying was illegitimate. Don Raul, who was a very violent man, went into an uncontrollable rage. He called two of his most trusted ranch hands and told them that the next morning they were to take Donania Leonora in the carriage. His orders were very clear. They were to ride north for 24 hours and then they were to hang her. The ranch hands left with the young bride at the crack of dawn. Don Raul left on horseback at the same time. He headed south. By doing so, he knew that if he were to weaken and change his mind, he would be too far to do anything about it. The men obeyed orders. After 24 hours, they reached approximately where the two highways cross now. In spite of her pleas, they hanged the poor lady. At that exact moment, 24 hours after riding south, Don Raul shot himself in the head. Then I asked my old friend, why do you think she keeps on coming back? It's very simple, he replied. It's to justify herself. It's to prove she hadn't been unfaithful and that the baby she was carrying was really her husband's. And he added with a bit of malice in the corner of his eyes. Write a story about her in the paper, who knows? She might feel vindicated and rest in peace. <laughs>